بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو دا کوانٹیٹی سروے کورس ان اور کوانٹیٹی سروے کورس ٹو ڈے اور لیکچر ایس بی بی ایس آف پائل سرکولر کالم اور پیر ہیمنگ سپائرل رنگ ان ایچ دیز آرزلز دیس ایس دا ایلیویشن ویو آف دا پائل پائل ہیمنگ دیس سپائرل رنگز دا ٹوٹل ڈایا آف دا پائل ایس ون بیٹر اینڈ Here you can see the section view, plan view. In the plan view you can see that these are the longitudinal or main board of dia 19, uh, dia of 626 millimeter and total number of bars or main board or is 19 number of main bars. And the concrete cover from provided in this circular pile is 5 centimeter. throughout the circle it will remain same 5 cm concrete cover and here these are the dotted short line here is spiral bars spiral ring and the dia of the spiral ring is 10 mm and the height of the total main bars used in pile is 15 meter and the pitch between the spiral ring is 15 centimeter you can see so let's solve this numerical for better understanding given data we have main bar length after subtraction of concrete cover main bar length or height you can see this is the main bar height 15 meter 15 meter without covers concrete cover number of main bar is 19 and dia of main bar is 26 millimeter this is also uh, you can learn the how to read the triangles and the triangle it is mentioned 19 then dia of 26 millimeter and then the spacing between the bars but this is means that total number of main bars 19 provided in this pile and concrete cover is 5 cm, pitch of the spiral ring is 15 cm, concrete cover sorry 5 cm and dia of spiral ring is 10 mm and here is more one more thing that our laps in spiral is one hour lap after e 30 meter length of spiral spiral you can see it is like here that spiral length in spiral length there is a hour lap after 30 meter length so after so in spiral ring cutting length we are we also have to calculate the hour lap length so let's we begin the solution of the first we will calculate the total main bar cutting length total main bar cutting length formula is number of main bar into length of one main bar it is very simple to calculate it as we know that total number of main bar is 19 it is mentioned in the drawing 19 total number of main bar and their length of one main bar we know that length of main bar is 15 meter it is also given without the concrete cover so simply we just need to multiply 19 number of main bar into length of one main bar so it will give us let me calculate it on the calculator so in the calculator you will see 19 multiply into 15 19 number of main bar 15 in the one bar main bar length 285 meter 285 total cutting length required for main bar is to 285 meters so let's now we calculate the weight of main bars it's very simple to calculate weight d square by 162 formula into total cutting length here d is the dia of main bar dia of main bar is 26 millimeter square divided by 162 into the total length total length of main bar we have 285 meter let me calculate it on the calculator no here you will see total cutting length 26 square uh, sorry total weight of the main bar 26 square 
divided by 162 then multiply it with the total cutting length of the main bar 285 meter 1189 1190 we will take it 1190 kg let me convert it into ton divided by what just 1000 because in one ton we have 1000 kg 1.190 ton is the weight required for main ball in this pile okay let's move to the to calculate the total cutting length of spiral ring here we know that the height of the spiral ring will be 15 meter because the height of the main bar is 15 meter so we provide the spiral ring on the on the main bar so main bar so spiral ring height will also be 15 meter a total dia of coil is we know that 1 meter in the plan here you can see total dia of Pile is 1 meter. So we have to deduct the concrete covers and pitch between the spiral ring is 15 centimeter. Here we have the formula to calculate the cutting length of helix or spiral ring and in under root c square plus p square. This under root is on this whole equation except this n. Let so we solve first we will calculate n n is the number of turns in this formula number of turns in the spiral ring so to calculate number of rings uh, number of turns in the spiral ring just divide by height divide by height into pitch height divided by pitch height we have 15 meter of the spiral ring and divided by pitch pitch is 15 centimeter divided by 100 to calculate in meter it is 0 0.15 so it will give us let me calculate it on the calculator here you will see the number of turns height divided by pitch which is 0 0.15 meter 15 centimeter 0 0.15 meter 100 number of turns we have 100 number of turns in our spiral ring circumference of the circle to calculate the circumference of the spirals we have formula pi d pi d is the formula to calculate circumference of the circle and circumference of the spirals so 3.14 value is the pi to calculate dia we have to we know that dia is 1 meter so we will deduct minus 2 concrete cover and from both sides we will deduct concrete cover and minus 2 into half die of spiral bar because we want to go from center to center we calculate the center from center to center that's why minus 2 into half die of spiral bar let me show you in the plan view in the, here in the elevation view you can see this is the total die off, 1 meter uh, uh, one cover is deducted from this side other is this side that's why we multiply minus 2 into concrete cover concrete cover is 5 centimeter if 0 0.05 meter so here you can see total die off pile is from here to here is 1 meter we will deduct from this cover from this side and this cover from this side to, that's why we multiply minus 2 into concrete cover and then 2 into half dia of speed, stir up this is stir up so that's why we go from this center of the stir up to this center of stir up that's why minus 2 into half of the dia of stir up so let's we calculate oh let me put the value here minus dia of 2 into concrete cover is both side 0 0.05 divided by 100 to get it into meter 5 centimeter 2 minus 2 concrete curve minus 2 half of the dia bar dia steel bar is 10 millimeter half will be 5 so let me calculate now 
on the calculator calculation of circumference of the stirrup here one more thing we have to do just this dia of the stirrups that we, we have to convert it into meter so in meter it will be divided by 1000 it will be 0 0.01 meter so after calculation this circumference of the stirrup will give us the 2.0 796 meter pitch of the spiral bar we already know 0 0.15 meter now let me put these values in this formula to calculate total cutting length of spiral bar and we have here 100 number of turns c we have here c 2 point circumference of 2 point seven nine six and the P pitch we have zero point fifteen now let me calculate these values on the calculator two point seven nine six take the scale then add it into zero point 15 scale total we have 0 0.0225 then take under root of take 7.84 then take under root of it it is 2.82 then multiply with the n number of turns 100 100 total we have 282.25 meter cutting length of spiral bar so we will take it 283 meter so total cutting length we have 283 meter cutting length of the spiral bars now we will calculate the overlaps used in spiral bars in the spiral bar spiral rings we know that overlaps are, is one hour left after each 30 meter total length we have 283 meter just we will divide the total length by 30 283 divided by 30 so total number of overlaps it will give us let me calculate it on the calculator 283 divided by 30 number to calculate number of overlaps 9.43 9.43 it means we have 10 number of overlaps in our total spiral cutting length so overlap length is 4 in 40 into d 40 into d so D is the dia of stirrup we have 10 millimeter so it will be 400 millimeter is the overlap length of the spiral ring so total overlap length will be number of overlap number of overlap is we just calculated it 10 number of overlaps in our total cutting length of spiral bar overlap one overlap length is 0 0.4 meter i divide the 400 millimeter to get the length in meter so let me calculate the total hour length length in meter overlap length in meter 10 into 0 0.4 4 meter total length overlap length we have 4 meter so total cutting length for overlaps cutting length of the spiral ring including the overlaps just add the 4 meter into 283 so it will be 287 total cutting length of the spiral balls after including the overlaps of the spiral bar just now we will calculate its weight just here d square by 162 d is the dia of the stirrups 
10 then multiply it with the total cutting length which is 287 the total weight it will give us in kg let me calculate it in the calculator 10 square divided by 162 then multiply it with the total cutting length of the 287 so 177 kg weight required of the spiral rings thanks for watching this lecture please stay tuned for next